Hey everyone, I thought I'd jump on here for a little bit today to do a demonstration. StreamYard's come out with a new feature which allows you to add a virtual background without a green screen. So we're going to go do a quick run through, show you how to do it, and kind of see what you think. So before I show you the how, I'm going to kind of show you a couple of the, the features that come with this. And so I can blur my background. So we're going to do a blur here and you'll get to see it. And so you can see that I have a little bit of a blur uh, without having to use my camera blur, which, you know, may be something that you want to do. And so it's not too bad. You do see a little bit around the edges. What I did notice in playing with it, if I upload a background like I, which I found on Canva, you can get a virtual background. You see a little bit more of the issue around the edges. Some of what we see sometimes with green screens. So that may be where you need more lighting, but you know, a lot of people do this on zoom. It's kind of the same issue. I, I do I like like the blur feature. And so I, I can change this while, as I am right now live. So I'm going to go back to no virtual background. And then I'm going to show you how we are able to make, make this change. So I'm going to uh, share my screen. We get a little bit of inception going here. So we go over here to the settings tab you'll see here we have virtual background and so down here i pick background blur and then you can kind of see it's already starting to blur there and so you can if i stop sharing for a second you'll see i now have the blur on and so now i'm going to go back to screen sharing again for you Go back into the settings, virtual background. And so right here where the plus sign is, is where we can add additional backgrounds. Now at the moment, they've got to be PNG or JPEG. And they suggest 1280 by 720. I, I do know that you can add um, video virtual backgrounds on Zoom. And so right here is where you would upload your background. It's how I added this one. So if I want to switch to this background, I just click it. You can see that it's already coming in. And then if I remove this screen share for a moment, so you can see that's simple to do. And so I will go back out here, back into my virtual background. I'm going to take the background off. And I, you know, pretty much very simple to do things to think about is your lighting that's probably part of where i have a little bit of issues but i thought the blur feature actually worked well for if you just want to maybe to blur a little bit of your background and not do much more that seemed to work uh, pretty well so i do like the addition of the blur and may have to play around a little bit to see with the virtual backgrounds but could be beneficial to you when you're recording some stuff where you just don't have the capability for green screen and maybe you want to put some things behind you that will make things uh, look better. Yeah, and, and that's a great point uh, by my friend Chris who's watching live is that you do get a little bit of the fuzziness around you, but uh, some people want this feature and it's now there. Uh, let me know what you think in the chat. And are you a green screen fan, a virtual background fan, or none of the above? Have a good one.